Hi everyone. All right. Well, I hope that you guys are going to enjoy your weekend. It is Friday night and I got a review for you. Okay. So I first saw this brand on Facebook and I recently looked at some of the other reviews that people were doing on these perfumes. I said I wasn't going to buy any more, guys. I said I wasn't going to buy any more perfumes, but I was so curious, and curiosity killed the cat. Yeah. I will have to say for their shipping was super fast. Like, I ordered it, and within three days later, it was here. So I was really happy about that. They also gave me a free bag. Um, this is like $5 extra if you want to be extra or if you are doing it for a gift. And then I also got a free sample of their, um, hand wash and hand lotion, um, in the scent Joy. So, but... All right, so this brand is a Korean uh, brand perfume, and I'm not sure where it comes from. I don't know if it comes from somewhere in the United States or Korea, or it's just kind of, I don't know where it comes from, but I just know it was really, really fast shipping. So the first uh, discovery box is going to be the Elements box, and this is the one that everyone is since reviewed and they all say that it smells really good and I'm gonna say otherwise but anyway we'll get to that part so this is the element so on the Korean flag they have uh, they have their symbols and the symbols represent heaven earth water and fire and so from that they made a perfume uh, to represent each element um, from the Korean flag. Now this set does cost $33 and in this set you do get a $33 voucher to go towards a purchase, a, a future purchase. Now the newest set that they bought, they bought, the newest set that they brought out was the Forgotten Words. This is also $33. Now if you are a math whiz, you will do that math yourself. Um, so the forgotten words are basically words that, you know, in the Korean language, they don't really use anymore. And so that's how this set, uh, became about. Before I kind of generalize the, uh, smells, what you're going to get. Honestly, I don't understand what other people are smelling. I didn't like these and it's unfortunate because they don't do returns so I just pissed away $70 and I'm kind of mad about it you know because I thought based on the reviews based on things based on what people were saying I thought I had a really good sense of what it would smell like and honestly I have to say between the two discovery sets, this one is the worst. The first one is the worst, the elements one. Um, there's nothing in here that I like as far as the smell. The marketing on this is fantastic. Like the stories that, you know, they say it's like walking in a forest with the dew hitting the leaves. I mean, you kind of imagine yourself, you know, in that scenario and what, what things would smell like in that element and it comes nowhere near it like nowhere near it the most i can tell you is that these that this one is like walmart like walmart stuff that you would find at walmart the notes they have notes listed out and people, when they do their reviews, they're like, it's bergamot and blah, 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 and blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, okay, cool. Because I am really good at smelling distinctive notes. These are muddied. Like they, like you can't really distinct a note here or there. 
they just smell like they just have this generalized smell about it and it not it doesn't smell horrible it just doesn't smell great and even though there might be jasmine and rose hemp and all this other stuff combined in there and it smells like flowers there's really not a distinctive like oh I can smell the jasmine come through and now I can smell the vanilla and now I can smell the sandalwood it's more like it just kind of it's mush like it's all smashed together in your nose and you're like I don't know exactly what I'm smelling here and it smells okay but I'm not quite sure I'm still loving the Riddle series that I got and I really really enjoy those and I am actually going to order the ones that I like which is Sphinx and Boyer I believe. So the Elements package is, I mean, like I said the marketing on this is really really cool, that's your voucher. Excuse me. And then this is the uh, descriptives of each one and the little story and notes that go behind it. And of course, here they are. Now, um, as I'm not going to tell you what they smell like because honestly, they just, they, I don't like them. I'm gonna tell you right now, you can cut the video right now, you'd be like, all right, I don't have to, don't waste, don't waste it, don't waste it. Because these, like if you are, if you, if you are a perfume connoisseur, if you love the smell of expensive perfume, if you like the smell of, uh, you know, Versace, um, Tom Ford, Joe Malone, I mean, th those have distinctive notes and they smell expensive, like they have a good, like a good amount of smell. These only last about maybe four hours at the max and then it goes away. So they're not very strong and um, like I said, they're kind of, they're kind of below a celebrity uh like celebrities are coming out with, you know, of course, perfumes. They've been coming out with perfumes. Um, sometimes a celebrity perfume smells really good, and sometimes it just smells like what it smells like, a celebrity perfume. Um, these are lower than that, I would say. I wouldn't say in price they're lower. I would say that as far as, like, the smell about them, that's the grade level that you're working with. So that's why I say these are pretty much, like, something that you would find at Walmart. Honestly. Um, that's why I say don't waste your time if you, you know, if you like a perfume, like a like a good perfume. Um, so yeah, don't waste don't waste your time. Uh, but just to generalize them for you, so heaven is floral and it didn't really come off as floral to me. It it really is kind of like a baby powder mixed with some floral notes in there. Uh, it actually didn't, it actually smelled the worst to me. It was like one of the worst ones. Um, but it is leaning towards feminine. Earth was a mid grade. Um, it was like unisex and it was okay. They're describing it as woody. I would say yes, in a way, it does smell, it kind of just has that kind of earth uh, notes in there, but it just kind of dies flat, and then it's just kind of like, mm, boring. Uh, water was really interesting at first, and then after a while it was like, it smells like an air freshener to me, um, it smells lemon like a lemon lemon water when you order lemon water at a restaurant I mean it's very clean and great and it's supposed to smell fresh like I said but again like it's nothing that you want to put on your body it'd be great as an aerosol in your house I thought it smelled great for that but as far as like I want to smell like that on my body I didn't quite get that connection 
Um, fire, that's the one I actually decided to wear for work one day and it was awful. After the four hours, I was glad that I couldn't smell like that anymore. Um, at first it was really nice. They describe it as a warm scent. It actually reminded me of a soft masculine scent, like a, you know, a watered down version of, uh, Old Spice or a watered down version of any men's deodorant. It kind of had that masculinity about it, but it was just in a softer, uh, way. So that's how I'm going to describe them to you guys. I know that's probably not something that y'all are used to, uh, having, you know, review of, uh, perfumes, but I wouldn't waste your time and I wouldn't waste your $33 on these things because you can't get it back. Uh, so the other one is the Forgotten Words. Again, they are the same. They're packaged just the same. Here is your sheet. And there it goes. And of course, here are the perfumes. Um, opening it up, that's what it looks like here and their descriptions. So this one was a little bit better. I think they kind of got their act together uh, because this is the newest one. And like I said, I don't think that anybody has actually reviewed this quite as often as the other one. But this one was, like I said, better. So if you are going to try this brand, I would try this box instead of the other one, just so you know what you're getting. Um, so this one, the inflorescence, that's the one that I really, really actually would probably purchase. Um, it was very, 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 very feminine and smelled like a bunch of flowers. Like just, it was like a punch to your face with flowers and it was actually really nice problem. <laughs> so the other box, they lasted for about four hours this only lasts about two and a half. So if you're one of those people where you're like, I like it to smell throughout the day. I like it to be a stronger smell. Um, I want to be able to smell it, you know, long term. This ain't going to be for you. You're going to be really disappointed because unless you do kind of like the tricks where you put Vaseline and then you spray to help your um, lighter perfumes uh, excuse me, stay a little bit longer throughout the day. But honestly, I sprayed two of these on me in the morning and by <laughs> two and a half late, hours later, I could not smell them at all. Um, they will last on your skin, but you literally have to, you know, put your nose to your skin and actually smell yourself in order to smell them, like smell them. Um, so inflorescence was great. I really enjoyed that one. But like I said, I, I really wouldn't recommend this brand. Um, gentle shower was again, that gentle gender neutral scent. Um, it was okay. It was like a forgettable smell, smelled all right, probably better as a room spray than wearing it on your body. Um, none of these are going to be like head turners. Like none of these are going to be like, Oh, what are you wearing type things? They're just going to be just generic and blase, um, for what you're paying for actually. Um, hazy blue was a, again, that's your soft masculine, uh, scent in this line. Uh, it smelled really good. I thought it was kind of familiar to, um, what's that one? Dolce & Gabbana, um, but just cheap. <laughs> it just smelled a little cheaper. Um, and you can definitely s smell like, okay, this isn't as, you know, expensive. You, it doesn't smell expensive. It doesn't smell what you're paying for is what I'm trying to get across. Um, I would just rather buy Dolce & Gabbana. Like seriously, honestly, I would buy that. Um, skip this. Um, hazy blue, like I said, it was, it's a soft masculine scent. Again, it doesn't stink. It doesn't like 
it's not revolting, but it's just for the price and for the notes, it just doesn't, for me, it's like, nope, not going to waste my money on that. Um, there's way better perfumes out there and colognes for men and women. This is, this isn't it. Um, Be By My Side, that's the last one in this, uh, in this set. This one was very, uh, this one was the most shocking out of the four because it was different. And when I realized uh, a little later what it smelled like, what it reminded me, it reminded me of a Yankee candle a long time ago. They used to have this candle that came out at Halloween and it was black and it was called Witch's Brew. I'm not sure of the note because a lot of other companies have since replicated that smell. And so ever so often, I actually find somebody that smells distinctive as Witch's Brew. And I'm like, that's Witch's Brew. You smell like Witch's Brew. Nobody ever knows what I'm talking about. Nobody, they look at me sideways and they're like, I don't know what you're saying. I'm like, okay, I'm alone out here, obviously. But um, basically what I can describe this as, as cotton candy and licorice. It's a bittersweet combination. And that's exactly what it says described. So this one is the best description out of all of them, like combined, both boxes. This is the best description of the actual perfume. This one, I love the smell. Again, it's, a, it's an awesome smell. Um, it just didn't sit well with me. Uh, it was a little bit too, it's too unique and too individual. I think just a, the right person can pull that scent off. Just like Tom Ford's tobacco, I've heard that, you know, just a certain person can actually pull that off. Um, and body chemistry, uh, really is it's all about body chemistry so again I really like this one this is the one that I sprayed along with the inflorescence I sprayed them both together <laughs> and it was a definitely a, a different combination that's for sure but like I said by after two and a half hours I couldn't smell it on me ever and I didn't get any compliments so <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, Be By My Side was one of the ones that I really kind of enjoyed because I'm, I've, I'm familiar with that scent. And um, yeah. So anyway, that's my review on Eloria. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it correctly. But honestly, I would say skip. Totally skip. Skip it. Skip it. Skip it. Don't. Don't give in to the media and the hype around it. It's not that great of a brand. And I really don't like the fact that they don't take uh, returns. Um, the other perfume brand that I reviewed took back my return and that was great. I love them for it. But this, I'm just literally out $70. So... But yeah, um, I will give these away. If you guys want to try these out, you want both boxes, you want one of the boxes, be my guest. I'll even throw in this bag. <laughs> I'll even throw it in there um, because they didn't, uh, they didn't reach out to me. Uh, I reached out to them through an email and I looked on their website and they say they absolutely don't take returns. So more than likely, I won't get my money back. But um, if you guys watching this video want one of those, just comment below. And then I will get in touch with you and we'll work something out and uh, they'll be yours. So yeah. So if you want them, comment below and they'll be on the way for to you <laughs> all right guys that's my um rant and review and i will see you guys in my next video